नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस कोड नंबर 417 इट इज न्यू सब्जेक्ट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय सीबीएसई एज अ स्किल सब्जेक्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो I will discuss about introduction to AI. It is applicable for class eight, nine, tenth, and eleventh. Those who have opted subject as a artificial intelligence. So, in this subject, this unit one is very common for these all classes. So, all can watch this video. So, let me begin with this. The first unit name is AI, and the learning outcome is to identify. and appreciate artificial intelligence and describe its applications in life so session activity and practical what will be the session activity and practical session will be introduction to ai and setting up the context of the curriculum then ice breaker activity dream smart home idea learners to design a rough layout of a floor floor, floor plan of their dream smart home so that will be the activity for this chapter 1 so let me begin with introduction to ai so here i am opening my presentation before the presentation starts i welcome you all this is sanjay parmar here so let me begin introduction to ai so first point in this video i will cover these topics common questions introductions definitions task done by human beings task done by machines which are better than human beings some of the task done by machines better than human being some of the task done by human that is better than machines so that we will discuss and then few examples of ai machines that is the last point of this video so let we begin with the first some of the common questions that we should think think answers of these questions then you might heard about some ai related fields or some topics first one is have you watched any movie of robots yes if you have watched then you can understand that there is big role play of ai in that movies if you have watched second which app or website you visited recently recently which app you have visited whether you have visited amazon shopping whether you have visited google so some of the websites and some of the apps they are already using ai have you observed something which is coming according to your interest so whenever you are using such kind of apps such kind of websites then you may find that some of the information which is provided by that apps it may be come according to your interest or whatever you have done previously that kind of advertisements that kind of data they are showing you suppose if you have watched some news on news related video if you are watching youtube there also they are providing videos whatever you have watched so that kind of suggestions are coming so that is part of ai do you feel computers or machines are better than humans if yes then think how and where so that also you have to think if computers or machines are better than humans if your answer is yes then think about how it will be better and where it will be better in which aspects it will be better than human beings so that we will discuss in this video so let we move to next slide in this slide introduction so when we think about artificial intelligence it is not a new term actually this field is very old and before four decades the idea was started and people are working on this and many companies and many organizations they are using outside of india they are using ai related machines ai related systems so basically what is ai what is artificial intelligence so according to me i have done like this artificial intelligence when we read this word we will find two sub words first word is artificial second is intelligence so very common and simple meaning i have given here first is artificial that means something made or produced by humans not natural means it is not created automatically or not created by nature that is created by human to made our work simple or made our work with comfortable efforts or which allows us to facilitate something they are provide the facility to accessing and made our work easy if you have watched the movie three idiots you heard the definitions of machine by amir khan something which made human task very easy it is called machine so it is similar like that artificial second is intelligence intelligence means the ability to acquire and apply knowledge so acquire and apply knowledge means what something which we don't know that we are knowing it 
that we are reading and we are gaining the knowledge. After that knowledge, we are applying into our daily life. That is called intelligence. So these two words are there. So here are some common definitions I have taken in this slide. So let me read it. AI is technique that provides or mimic human behaviors by learning, perceiving or reasoning by machines. So these are the main activities done by the AI. So what? First provides or mimic. So they will provide or mimic human behaviors. Whatever we are doing that the system can copy or AI machines can copy. They can learn, they can be trained, they can perceiving. Sometimes they are giving the results based on predictions also. So that can be done by the AI. Now the father of AI, John McCarthy, he is considered as a father of AI. So he is writing the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs is artificial intelligence. Means they are just machine only, but machines, intelligent machines. Intelligent machines means what? They can do something as we have described the AI definition. Okay, second, AI refers to the ability to machine to perform cognitive tasks like thinking, perceiving, learning, problem solving, and decision making. Initially conceived as a technology that could mimic human intelligence, AI has evolved in ways that far exceed its original conception. With incredible advance made in data collection, processing, and computation power, intelligent system can now be de de deployed to take over a variety of tasks, enable connectivity and enhance productivity. This definition is given by Niti Ayo. More definition I have given my blog. So the link you will find in description. Just click on it and read the definitions. Let me move to next slide. Task done by human beings. So when we thinking about that, what type of task that is commonly done by us, human beings. So some of the tasks I have written here, first identifying emotions. In identifying emotions, humans are always better than the machines because they have their own emotions and they can control emotions also. When such machine or such tool is prepared or trained like that, they cannot understand the other type of emotions. Recognizing faces. Machines can recognize face shape, face design or specific color but they cannot recognize face, the face is, belongs to whom. So they cannot recognize, just they can recognize the shape and design. Communication. Communication is far better by human beings comparatively to ma machines. Because when you are writing something, suppose we are taking example of chatbots. If you write some question which is not related to their field or that particular website or that tool, then it will give the answer according to that tool only. Suppose on an Amazon chatbot, if you find, where is my mother? So it will give you the result? Yes, it will give you the result. But just it find the word mother and whatever shopping tools they have available or whatever data he is trained for, that only it will write chatbots and it will provide you. But it will not provide your mother photo or not provide anything related to your mother. Next option is conversational skills. So human beings are better in conversation also. So sometimes human beings treat like that. They do the conversation. People like it. So if we talk about Sandeep Maheshwari, when we are attending his seminar, so we were continuously for two hours, three hours also we can listen. So that is called conversation. So their conversation is strong like that. So people like that. Sometimes some people may like our conversation also when we are talking. So they will like their style and everything, but machines cannot. Now some tasks done by machines better than human being. First is sorting data. Yes, when some data is given to you about 500 rows. Now if some people will tell you to sort data, suppose a person is doing job in a company. Now his boss is telling him to sort the data according to the values. So it will be complex for the human, but when it is perform in computer or in other system, it will be very easy. And in few seconds, in couple of seconds, it will produce the result in sorting. Okay. If you don't know how to sort data in Excel, I have made one video and I've uploaded that video. You will get in I button. You can watch from there. Second is complex computation. Complex computation means some of the calculations are there. They are very complex. So that cannot be done by human. 
done by human, but it is far better that can be done by machines because he, when human is doing it will take time sometimes he, it will not produce the exact result it will take too much time like that so some limitations are there so machines are better in this concept context second is memorizing memorizing power we have memorizing power but we are forgetting very soon but machines when they are trained they can memorize anything and for longer duration second indexing Indexing means structuring your data according to the values. So that is also done by machines far better than human beings. Let me take example of Google. Google has database and its web crawler that search engine bots. So they are performing this indexing tasks very easily and it will produce millions of links on a particular keywords. Understanding patterns. Some of the patterns are there. If uh, people are giving us, we are thinking about that pattern and it will take time. Some of the human beings are there, they can understand patterns very easily, but that's about their IQ and their intelligence. But some of the people cannot understand even in half hour or more than two hours also. So it is better done by the machines. They have such kind of algorithms and according to that algorithms, they will read your patterns. And now this is last slide of this video, few examples of AI. So the, related to this, I will post video in video link in description. You may watch it for learning how it, it is working. So these are the few examples. IBM Watson, it is one kind of robot. Driverless cars are there. Sophia, the humanoid robot, the assistance or chatbot. So these you can watch the videos. Some chatbots examples I have given Alexa, Apple Siri and Google's home. So I hope you like my video. If you like my video, just give me thumbs up, comment your doubts or give me feedback about this video. And if you have watched my video first time, you are watching my video first time, coming my channel to first time, just subscribe and press bell notification all icon to get more updates. Thank you for watching my video. We will meet soon with next video. Tata, bye bye.